again, and welcome back to Scott Wonders. Well, hello. On, it's quite chilly today. I've got sniffles. I've got a bit of cold, which ain't good with our wedding coming up. Not far away. Do we know why you're on a date? Is um, three weeks, four weeks, five, five weeks. weeks, six weeks, a year, it seven could months. Be in April. Anyway, Wanda. Um, yes. Over the last couple of months. Yes. I've set some challenges. You have. Uh, Ten pound challenges. £10. First one went into Tesco's, buy £10 worth of beer, whatever you want to buy. I want to have a go. Can I have a go? That might well be I know where I want to go. Well, don't say. I will choose. You choose. I'll um, choose. I know where I want to go. So next month, there'll be no poll. No poll. Um, it'll be Wanda's Challenge. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so it's done Tesco's. It was, oh, um, so I can't do Tesco. No, I can't do Tesco. Oh. So did Tesco's, um, put it out to all the other beer channels right. and you guys that watch. Oh. Um, it went down really well. Oh. Did Morrison's. Did it oh, I can't do Morrison's. Did it twice, um, because oh. our Morrison's might as well not be there. Oh, don't leave me much then, does it? Really? Well, you can go back and do Oh, but there is another place I can think of. Yeah, we can think of some. Anyway, um, yeah, so did the Morrison's ones twice, and they went down well as well. Um, we've put, a, put a poll up last week um, of Asda, mm. Sainsbury's, yeah. M&S, yeah. Waitrose, and yeah. threw in local bottle shop, craft beer shop, whatever you want to call it. Um, because, mm -hmm. let's be honest, supermarkets don't really need our, uh, our money. Um, but local businesses do. And smaller businesses. And smaller businesses. Like um, smaller shops. Yeah. So, um, and mm -hmm. out of 180 votes, 160 votes, something like that, 48% voted for the bottle shops. Mm. Which didn't surprise me in the slightest. The thing with the bottle shops, obviously that's all they do is the beer and stuff, but they get it from local breweries mm -hmm. and stuff that you can't get hold of online, they could have it in as well. It's, it, it's pretty cool, Generally it? better quality beer than, in, than is in the supermarkets, let's be honest about that, mm -hmm. but also comes at a premium price. Yeah, because they've got to earn a little bit of money from it as well. They can't just give it for the exact price and not earn a penny from it, because that would be... Bit silly, really, right. With that in mind, I can't set a ten-pound bottle shop challenge um, because you no. come out with one beer. So I've upped I, I it. I don't know. You'd have to look, wouldn't you? Yeah, I've upped it. So this is the fifteen-pound <laughs> local bottle. What are you doing? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> the fifteen-pound local bottle shop challenge. Okay. Okay. So a bit more, bit more money to spend. Yeah. Our local bottle shop is. Beer Musketeer. The lovely Jason, um, yeah. Beer Musketeer. Um, I've already preempted this by putting three beers aside. So I know I've got three yeah, beers. Because he's got an online. Because he's got an online shop. Does he do delivery? Like, Local locally, delivery. Right. Um, but what we're going to do is, I've discussed with Jason, he's going to let us go down and film. Mm -hmm. um, and we, he's got a reward scheme as well. Yeah, um, which he joined. Which now, I've joined. Um, and we can see what mm. I can actually pick up for £15 uh, pound f from our local craft beer bottle shop. Are you going to get Jason to explain the reward squeam? Yeah, yeah I'm going to get the squeam. He's going to the reward squeam. Um, yeah, going to get him to have a chat with Jason. Have a look what he's got in stock mm. and see what I can get I'll for tell my 15 you what, quid. He always stocks, which is one of my favourite things. Oh, <laughs> not today. Nope. Oh. You're after you're on about crunch. Crunch. He gets that often now, doesn't he? So we're going to dinner. Um, next time we see us. I want a crunch. We'll be at the um, uh, mm -hmm. Big Musketeer and we'll see what we can get from 15 quid. And we'll speak to the lovely Jason. So, so we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Coffin. Big Musketeer. Like last, not th this weekend was shite, but last weekend I had, um, yeah, since when, from as soon as I opened, all ATs were filled. And 
Nutella first. So there's people in there like filled it up all day. Saturday it was about half, it was about full half of the day. Wow. So I was like, I'm yeah. going to have a beer while they're sitting on Tuesday or whatever. Yeah. Or just chatting. Um, but yeah, so when I do that, I'm just narrow down this side. <laughs> Right, we're at the Beer Musketeerium um, down in South in Portsmouth. This is Jason, Hello. the Hi, Jason. owner. Um, I think you're the only one in Portsmouth, aren't you? Pretty much. Um, I think you can get some takeout from places like um, Brewers Tap yeah. and Get Brew in the, the home brew store. Yeah, the little one that's in the little arcade. We've only ever been in there, I think, yeah. once or twice, haven't we? Yeah, they, but, they tend to do that as like a little side yeah. line to what they normally do. But yeah, I think I'm the only kind of dedicated. Bottle this shop. is all I do. Bottle yeah. shop. Craft beer shop. Craft beer shop, off licence. But we've never called. called it that. We've always called it the beer musketeer. Yeah. We've never said bottle shop or anything no, like that. No, it's, it's just a loose categorization, but everything's in can now, so probably need to scrape that sign off the door. <laughs> <laughs> Rebranding. Yeah. Rebranding. So obviously, I've just been explaining to, uh, to Jason that over the last two months, we've set two challenges to where money's tight with people, trying to get as much sounds like alcoholics but <laughs> as much bang for your buck as you can obviously we did the tesco's challenge which did really well went out to a load of other channels that got involved as did the people that watched i uh, went to morrison's for the second one put polls up and on this one i included local bottle shop or local business um, to try and get some trade into places that without our support and they you know bust very quickly. Yeah, and obviously, <laughs> obviously it's, um, it's a tough time for everybody. Prices are going up on fuel, gas prices, food's going up, so we want to get as much. Definitely the food after today. Yeah, Jeez. Um, you want to get as much as you can for your money. And that um, was Lidl, that was. Some yeah. of the staff, I was like, oh, mm? <laughs> Sorry, go on. And obviously, unfortunately, and we are just discussing, where Tesco's and Morrison's and Asda and everything else, They've sort of jumped on the craft beer bandwagon. Yeah, they've jumped on the bandwagon a bit, and then the actual breweries themselves, like, get, you know, locked down and everything, went to pot, and, you know, you got to do what you got to do, you got to sell your beers, yeah. get in front of the most amount of people. It makes sense on a business kind of thing, but it's, yeah, it's a bit of a kick in the nuts. The, diff the difference being is when, <laughs> when, you know, when people can go to Tesco and get a beer, half decent beer, yeah. for three pound a can, and they come to you guys and it's five pound a can, where does your money go to? Um, and it, it, I'm, I'm assuming it's hit you it's and everybody around the country quite yeah, hard. It's, it's essentially an argument for quality over quantity. Yeah. On, on a much smaller scale than your average, you know, drinking your macro stuff compared to your craft. But it's the same argument of they're three pound for a reason. They're brewed to a scale. Like there's there's a reason. You know, they brew to a price point. Yeah. They've got to make it sellable for three quid. Whereas the majority of craft, they don't really think. Most brewers don't really think about the price too much. It's normally <laughs> yeah. uh, when they're making it, they're like, this will be a great idea. This will taste amazing. Uh-oh, how, like, how can we negate that and make it as cheap as possible? So yeah, it comes out what it comes out at, but it's a decision of you know how much you can spend and how much, you know, is it worth getting four cans of good beer or three cans of really good beer? Yeah. But some stuff you can't get hold of in the shops and you can get hold of in here, which is really yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, they do have a very limited range. Cause, well, it's obviously grown a lot lately, but they are limited to, you know, it takes and did you a say long old time to get those contracts in there. As you say, it's that price point of three, three pound fifty, four pound, where they're obviously brewing to that price point, yeah. whereas beers in here don't have to hit that can be Exactly, there's only so much fruit and the ground for hop and all that stuff that you can do for no, so, was, so is the level of quality in the shops not as good as obviously the stuff you get in here because obviously they're brewing it to that price point oh, so I they can't say it's like lesser quality so much well yeah but no <laughs> <laughs> the loading to be nice, yeah. so it is lesser quality in the fact that they have to use either less or lesser quality ingredients so yeah, there's something has to give at that price point doesn't it so yeah. you can't you can't. And it's not going to be Tesco's margin. <laughs> no. no well, absolutely. I mean, I, I heard someone, that one of the breweries was making a penny a can. Exactly. It, it, Which it ain't a lot, on, really, is it? Penny a can? No, it's kind of just scale. Like, they'll sell a lot of them through Tesco, so that they do make money off of it. But 
you know, if they sold that volume of cans through bottle shops, Jesus Christ, they'd be on a yacht. <laughs> so for me, my hope is that, that by, and I'm assuming this is the brewery's um, take as well, by putting their beers into Nationwide, it then naturally brings people to their website or their brewery, or to you, you or guys, or the industry in general, yeah. in general, and it's sort of their first step on finding something else. Yeah. Turning like, your back on the crap that's over here, um, <laughs> to the <laughs> stuff that's <laughs> over there. It, and they stop putting it in the shops after a while as well, don't they? Yeah. So all of a sudden they take them off the shelves, don't they? Or they, they, well, they, 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 they change they it all. They roll stock, don't they? So mm. some beers that are just brewed for a certain amount of time and then they're sort of gone again. Now, obviously, um, the two challenges that we've set on yeah. have been ten pound challenges. Yeah, I can't, in good faith, come into a place like the Beer Musketeer and set a ten pound challenge because I don't think it's feasible. I messaged you yesterday saying, yeah. "Can we come <laughs> and do this?" You were like, "Absolutely fine." Ten pounds not feasible. Um, Fifteen pound, I think, is feasible. Mm. Um, up and down the country, obviously, prices change and vary but, on location. Yep. If you go to a brewery or something, yep. you are going to be paying way more than ten pound, yep. aren't you? Yep. Like, yeah. Like how yeah. much are drinks in breweries and stuff? Anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. You save a bit. Obviously, it's cheaper to buy direct, like in the tap room, if you mm. buy and take out. But if you're in a tap room, it's a pub at the end of the day. They've got yeah. hella big rates to pay. They've got a lot more overheads. So yeah. 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 So you're, you're you could only get one or two. You go down to a you know a normal pub and you pay six quid a pint of generic macro lager and that's fine but then you come there and people are like six pounds yeah which is nuts because <laughs> yeah, like we were at you're fine <coughs> drinking something yeah cost you know cost yeah. a quid in the shop yeah and you're having to pay six quid because it's in a pub yeah well <laughs> we were charged last night at our local a pub round the corner um just for a copperberg copperberg and um drive a pint of amstel and it was like a tenner yeah. Just for those two things, when you know you can get a so copper people, bag for like so less you, than that in the shop. You're but absolutely right. People complain about the price of uh, pub prices, but if I go to the brewer's tap, I can have a half decent pint of beer. Yeah. One can have a nice stout, and it'll come in, and it'll come in about a tenner. Yeah, so yeah there's but not we don't mind change. doing that. You no. do it because it's nice. So, so fifteen pounds yeah. um, is the challenge in here. Mm. Jason has got an online um, address which I look at. A lot anyway so yeah. i've already picked out three beers <laughs> yeah um a that are really good price mm -hmm. b are a fantastic brewery yeah and it works within my price range what are they called you... so you've got utopian uh, vienna keller so the, uh, jason was explaining that they these only do lager yeah they they specialize in lagers but they um kind of have a commitment to using just british ingredients so they'll do all world styles of lager black lagers vienna kellers everything like that but they only use British hops, which obviously ramp down the price a bunch, makes it a lot more accessible. So these three beers, Wanda? Yeah. Eight pound. That's good, isn't it? For the lot. So I've still, so I've still quality got, lager. Well, Are they so. different flavours? Different styles. <laughs> Style. Not different flavors. styles Ooh. of lagers. Um, so I I've, I'll be used to stuff like this, and I'm not. So <laughs> I've still got seven pound. We have your play good. with. Yeah. But with Jason your rewards. Does a rewards system. Yeah. Okay, which if you explain, Jason, what your reward, yep. and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I don't know, that I'm hoping the guys take this up, go and speak to you, the guys, because they might have reward schemes as well. They might be able, you might be able to haggle on prices, help each other out. They want your business, they want your money, you want their beer. There's, there's a work around here. Mm -hmm. So I've got, I've, Jason, yep. tell us about the, under, the reward, reward system. system. So on the reward system, you just sign up to it on the website, like yep. symbols. Um, you can use it in store or out of store online. You basically get every pound you spend, you get five points, which is five pence, so five percent discount. Um, the points just build up like a next card or whatever. You can access it online um, and you can redeem it in store or online as well. So you can either just use it for a cheeky, cheeky beer every now and again, or I've got people that have saved up a good 40 50 quid now, waiting till their birthday or Christmas. <laughs> yeah, good idea. And you get for signing up, is it a two, uh, so two pounds? So for signing up, you get two quid's worth of credit, and then on your birthday, you get two quid as well. Oh, 
Excellent. I've got five pounds worth of credit, Wanda. Oh, so. so I've still got 12 pounds to spend. Right. <laughs> so I've got a seven pound from a 15 pound. Oh, can I choose one then? You are absolutely Because you've got three there, here. and I see it's a bit unfair right about now. It's our channel, it's never been my channel, it's no. just as much as your channel as mine. So I've still, we've, we've still got £12 to spend. Okay. It's a slight cheat with the £5 credit, but it's really important. But it shows speak, the rewards though, doesn't people. it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Most shops will have some sort of reward, bargains, bin, two for ones, four yeah. packs. There, there's always something that, that they'll do. <laughs> Right. And you've got big plans coming up at the minute, that's why you haven't got as much yes, in at so the minute. I'm, yeah, running I'm, running down, down. <laughs> I'm running down the stock at the minute just because I'm I'm changing all the shelving so that we've got everything's cold chained, everything is kept chilled. Mm. There should be a bar cart turned up soon, so I'll have four taps and a couple extra tables. Nice. Cheeky wine fridge with dual zone so I can chill the lambics and wines at different temperatures. So it'd be like a yeah. mini tap room kind tiny, of thing. Tiny, 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 tiny one. Because there's a <laughs> table and chairs. They're pretty cool, aren't they? I like them. We need that in our shed, Scott. Yeah. One of those. That'd be sweet. Well, they started off as like, I just put them there for people because a few customers were having a drink while they're browsing and, you know, shopping. A little browsing beer. Yeah. Like, Normally, it's when someone's waiting for the post office. Like, oh, they're going to be ten minutes. Going to have a bit. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then, yeah, then a lot more people keep asking. They started getting filled up at the weekend. So I thought, yeah, let's try and stick another, squeeze another table in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. It's nice. So I'm being drawn. I do like burden. I'm being drawn to people, money, space, and time. Just four pound, Wanda. That's good, isn't so. It? So you've got you have eight pound to spend. Oh, have I? <laughs> right, Wanda, we've um we've come up with um, our fifteen pounds. Mm -hmm. Um, spent twenty five pound rewards. Mm -hmm. A little bit of um <laughs> on that one as well to get into the fifteen pound. Again, get into these uh, guys. They will help you. If you've got a budget, they're going to help you because they want your business. You want their beer. They want your money. Mm. Works both ways. Um, Wanda, you've picked this one, lovey. Yeah, I um, can't wait to try that one. Foamy banana, a milkshake, creamy ale. Pale I like foam bananas and it's the like, shrimps. We've had a few um, from Play Brew at the Brewer's Tap. Mm -hmm. Always been very impressed. Yeah. I mean, they do adjunct beer quite well. well yeah. Sort of... Any kind of novelty flavoured idea they come up with, they do nail on flavours. Yeah. It always smells too. like <laughs> it, doesn't it, that, as the, well. The flavour on that is good, but the smell of that is exactly what I'm What's that one they've got on a, 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 the Brewer's Tap at the moment? It's the one that's like... Um, it's the strawberry like drumstick or something. Strawberry like drumstick. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're going to have some of that. I'm not even yeah, it does taste you. like a drumstick as well. <laughs> um, Utopia, so that was... 520. 520. Um, Utopian unfiltered British lager. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to these, actually. Um, the black lager I had, which was the special. Certain special. Yeah, it was, was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, that was about two pound fifty. Can't go wrong there. Um, premium British Lager again from Utopian. That was about three pounds as well. Something, uh, something that silly. Two fifty. Two fifty. If you can get them in in your um, in your bottle shop, your craft beer shop, great prices. Uh, Utopian being a Keller Lager. That's about three pounds. That's wasn't it? Go for a verdant wonder. Mm -hmm. um, people, money, space, and time. Jason just said to me as I was looking at it, cause it's quite low ABV, I think. 3.8? Yeah, 3.8 ABV. He reckons it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. really and. Are you recommending that one? Jason <laughs> sold this one to us. <laughs> <laughs> and it's horrible, it's his fault. <laughs> um, Lindemann's Apple Lambic Beer. Yeah. Ooh, so that's it's a, a Lambic Beer. Yeah. Proper Belgian tradition. So it's going to be like a, a funky, wild, yeah. wild, bit sour. You don't know what sounds, do you? But Lindemann's overrated with the flavour rather than the sound. So. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, 20, 20 quid, £5 um, rewards. Uh, rewards. That's my £15 challenge. Uh, it's going out to you, so I know Dean's going to have a go at it. Um, Barry, Chris's Beer Reviews, Dave, Chris the Butcher, all of you guys, Bullmans, they're all of you, and you guys in the other watching. Get out to your local bottle shops, your craft beer shops. What can you get for 15 quid? 
let it let us know in the it's comments below. It's open to anyone, isn't it? Open to anybody. Anybody yeah. who wants to do it. Then Jonathan. Jonathan Brown, yeah, Northern Southerner, Simo, mm. Spice and Easy. All hail the ale. All hail the ale, everybody. Out there. The list is endless, really. You know quite a lot. But yeah, go out. Um, let's, no, get, go and talk to these guys. They want to help you. They want your business. They want your money. They're here to help. And let's support. It would be a shame to see them close as well. Absolutely. And then you can't get half the stuff that you used to like in the shops when they start taking it all off the shelves again. So. Absolutely. Um, Jason, thank you for your time. Um, really appreciate it. Really looking forward to these. Um, I'll tag Jason in when these um, reviews come out. I'm going to review all of them. Yeah. Um, get out there. Especially this one. <laughs> um, if you're in the Pompey area, be a musketeer. Um, come down and see him. And uh, yeah. me and Wanda. We'll see you very soon. Bye, Jason. Bye, yeah.